Brought to you courtesy, remember we're talking about open borders right now, of the Open Borders Ideologies and Globalists exclusive Trend de Agua linked to migrant sex trafficking in eight states leaked memo, I'm assuming from DHS. Here's a New York Post article. The vicious Venezuelan migrant gang Trend de Agua is luring desperate women deep into the heart of the U.S., forcing them to sell their bodies on the streets of American cities to pay off exorbitant smuggling fees all caused by the Kamala Harris administration. A newly leaked law enforcement document obtained by by the New York Post reveals at least eight states have seen an explosion in migrant prostitution. Great job, Biden administration. Once again, great job, Biden administration, and all the COVID cavers that ushered in the Biden administration. At least, what do you mean by that, Tom? Just brief explanation, since I haven't said that for about a month. The reason why we have a Biden administration is because of all the conservatives that caved to COVID and went ahead and bought in to a false narrative that we had a 99.9% survival virus that was now considered to be a 99.9% non-survival virus. So it was actually legitimized to not go and vote because it was an existential threat to your life. I saw tons of conservatives given to that. I saw members of my church given to it. They're no longer members of my church unless they've come back. But I mean, I saw tons of people given to it. That's what ushered in the Biden administration. If we all stood, we wouldn't have this right now. And I know I'm preaching to the choir, the 899 that are watching right now, but I'm just saying, because we're all red-pilled, but for those, maybe there's a few on CTN that are watching right now. Maybe there's a few in the chat. Maybe there's a few on YouTube or whatever that are watching. Still on YouTube. We, we've banned ourselves off of Facebook now after being banned so many times we can't stand it anymore and being shadow banned for the last four years. <laughs> but the reason why we have this is because of not, listen, of course the left cave because that was their agenda. That was politically expedient for them. They wanted to get rid of, they wanted to crush the economy and get rid of Donald Trump. But why did all the conservatives give in? Because they're destroyed for lack of knowledge. And most of them have still refuse to repent and acknowledge that they were wrong four years ago. Absolutely wrong. All right. So anyway, at least eight states have seen an explosion in migrant prostitution since the gang laid down roots in the U.S., Trende Agua, with, with authorities in Texas, Nevada, Illinois. California, sadly Florida, Georgia, New Jersey, and New York now fighting to curtail the sl- the sex trade. The memo shows great job once again, Biden administration. If he closed the border, we don't have an explosion in sex crimes. You're like Tom, but there's a difference. No, I, I get it. They're all sex crimes. I mean, all sex crimes, prostitution, rapes, rapes to murders. We wouldn't have the explosion of that crime. And and I'm going to show you in just a minute the complete falsehood. That is the argument that there is less crime in the, in the illegal migrant community than in the American community, the, the legitimate American citizen community. I'm going to show you how that's a complete lie in just a minute. All right, go to the next one for me. This is a Mary tweet. Thank God for strict drunk gun laws, she says facetiously. Chicago's gangs clash with Venezuelan. Wait a minute. So we got Trende Agua. I mean, again, congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, Kamala Harris administration. Congratulations, we got Trend Agua sex trade in Texas, Nevada, Illinois, California, Florida, Georgia, New Jersey, New York, uh, and of course, right here in Illinois. Thank God for strict, strict gun laws, Mary says facetiously. Chicago gangs clash with Venezuelan Trend Agua members, blacks against migrants. Have you ever heard that ever before in your life? <laughs> ever? I mean, again, we've got roving gangs of assassins, at least five of them, that the federal government knows about going throughout the United States, trying to gun down Donald Trump. And now in Chicago, which is a which has the strictest gun laws in the nation, averages over 50 felonious shootings per weekend, and now has a gang war going on. And not only, they're not even saying it's a gang war. It's actually black citizens of Chicago fighting against Trend de Agua. Amazing, isn't it? Have you ever heard of this before in your life? Again, congratulations, Biden administration. We've never seen anything like this before, ever, ever. But now, whenever you usher in idiocy, be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever man sows, that shall he also reap. Galatians 6, 7. If you usher in idiocy, you reap idiocy. Now black Americans are having to fight for their streets and fight for their lives inside of Chicago, and sadly, most of them will still vote for Kamala Harris. Sadly. But, but, a greater majority of them, or a greater minority of the majority, will now vote for Donald Trump according to the latest polls.